Hey guys, it's Kitten, and I really, I really wanted to make a quick, uh, quick video explaining why I didn't have the video up for Friday. It's not, it's not like I didn't have a video ready. I, I just, I have been feeling very under the weather. Um, it's a little hard to explain because, um, I not only have this giant thing, which very confusing. Like it looks, it has. I guess it has the feeling and look of something that's not a pimple, but it is a pimple. And I'm just very confused about it. I I don't know what it is. It's just like a growth that's coming off my face. And it's, I don't know. Um. So I've been really self conscious about this um and I, I honestly don't know what it is and it really bothers me and trust me it bothers me so much that i i cried about it a few times because it's just right there yep you just you stare at that the whole video that's fine um so there's that and then there's there's something that like is a bit confusing um that could have connection with that i don't know um one thing is that like my glands on this side of my face if you didn't know you actually have a gland here and then like right here um they were a bit swollen on this side of the face and they kind of hurt a little bit if i poke them but um and that's also kind of concerning for me because like what if this is like a bigger problem um so yeah there's that uh it doesn't really it doesn't really do anything really it's just i can tell that it's more swollen and stuff it doesn't really hurt it it is uncomfortable particularly for like the gland here um, when I eat in or if my, like, I turn my head in a certain way and I bend my neck in a certain way, it, I can definitely tell that there's, like, a pressure here, but, um, yeah, mm. uh, I did go to the doctor for, like, all the stuff that I'm gonna talk about for this video, um, so, like, what she said for me to do is what I pretty much read on the internet, that, like, um, the Saliva, 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 the saliva, the saliva ducts in my glands are not as open as they should be, which explains why I've been kind of having a, um, a drier mouth lately. If you notice in a lot of my, uh, videos in the last few weeks, I kind of swallow and cough a little more. That's because... Like, I've, I've always racked it up to, like, have n not drinking enough water, but, um, either way, like, I've noticed my mouth, my, like, just my lips in general are a lot drier, so, like, her saying that explained a lot, but, uh, my worry is, is what she told me to do won't work or anything, and that would involve a lot more invasive stuff. So I'm just worried. Yeah. Um, so, um, she pretty much told me to, like, uh, consume sour things. Because if you didn't know, sour things actually make your, you s make saliva, d um, develop more. So I got lemon drops for that. So that's gonna be fun. I actually like lemon drops. Um, so, and I also wanted, like, a hard candy to suck on, not, like, just, like, fucking sour candy, like, like, gummies, I didn't want that. I wanted, actually, something, like, I could last for, like, a few minutes. Um, and then another thing that could possibly have why this is happening and why my, like, body is freaking out with everything is that I have an infected wound on my leg. Yay! Uh, it's pretty much, I don't, I don't want to gross people out, but, um, there's been a, the, there's been a spot on my leg that's been there for, like, probably over a year, and 
it kind of just formed because I was scratching myself too much in that spot. Um, I have an issue with that. Like, I scratch my skin too much. And I guess, like, that spot got over-irritated and it became, like, a... I think what the dermatologist said, it was probably a boil of some sort. I don't know. But this bump uh, formed and it stayed there for about a year and it didn't really do anything. It wasn't irritated or angry or anything. But then on Christmas, I, like, I got kind of tired of it. And I just decided to, like, put Neosporin on it and a Band-Aid. And that's when it started to get really irritated and really angry and red. Um, and then I went to the dermatologist like a week or two, two weeks ago, over two weeks ago. And he told me it's probably a boil and he gave me some like cream to take the swelling down. And it's just... <laughs> This is the gross part. Um, literally the day after I went to see him, uh, it burst. <laughs> and stuff came out. And, um, yeah. And now it, it became pretty much an open wound because, um, it burst. And, yeah. And then after that, like, I, I did put on the, the cream and it did... It took down a lot of the swelling, but it still wasn't, it was still like infected pretty much. Like it didn't take the infection away. Uh, so I, I kind of like, I got to that point, like, especially when like this stuff started to happen, I was just like, something's going on in my body. <laughs> and um, so pretty much like I went to the doctors yesterday and she, like, it was, it was actually funny. Like, she took the band-aid off. And, um, she had this, like, the way she reacted, she seemed really worried about it. Which kind of scares me. But, um, hopefully the drug she gave me actually work. But it's funny. Because I asked, like, so it's infected? Immediate, yeah. So, <laughs> it's, like, I had the right idea of, like, it was infected, so... Yay. Don't you- hey, 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 old time viewers, hey, remember that time I got super sick last year in January? Yeah, I think this is gonna become a trend where I get super sick in January. It's so stupid. But it's- it's like, this whole January, I was- I was hoping to God, like, please- Please don't have anything happen. Please don't have anything happen. Uh, look, look where that landed me. Oh, look, an infected wound and a swollen half of my face and a giant zit. Mmm, karma. Or not karma, just, I don't know what's happening. Anyway. I'm gonna go.